Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader. Tuesday night, March the 15th. These are the charts of the day. A review of some of the longs today. Uh, we, we went over some of the shorts yesterday, but market certainly um, looked ugly this morning, but came way back. Still closing with big losses for the day, and I believe the futures are down tonight, so we could see it continue to the downside tomorrow despite the late snapback, which could have been nothing more than some bargain hunting and short covering. But let's see what some of the longs are looking like. Um, Air Methods has been in a beautiful uptrend since the mid-20s in July, where reaching now in the mid-60s. And yet, the recent action here shows a breakout across this key resistance line with a thrust um, last Friday. And to yesterday and today, mark time, but are consolidating both flag like fashion. And to me, it looks like it's going to the low to mid-70s for the next leg up. And Taylor poised to break out above the key resistance level as well. That goes back several years in a beautiful rising channel. Um, you can see the gap that we got um, last Friday as well. And then the last couple of days, very similar to Air Methods, consolidating this one. However, below resistance or right at it. Move through here and we can see something in a 32-33 range for our target on Ann, uh, Ann Taylor. AVAV, not too dissimilar. Uh, broke out last week, ran up a little bit, and now it's consolidating. Had a nice reversal day from 32 to 33.83. Closed down on the day, but still potentially looking higher. We had a $35 target, secondary target, secondary target off 40. Good day today for cyber. Cyber dropped down at 542 and went up to 609 before closing at 590, up 20 cents. But a nice reversal day, and perhaps it's moved broken out of this little five or six day consolidation. As you notice, the volume had been dwindling, but today it popped on the reversal on the upside with 1.4 million traded, traded, and perhaps <clears throat> an acceleration through the top of the channel could take place. Next trading target, six and three quarters to seven. Somebody else is short looking better, but I do want to point out that despite the fact that they broke out through lateral price resistance and took out the declining tops line, they closed poorly. A lot of them did. The FAZ was up $1.54 today, but at one point traded up more than three and a half. So you can see a rather poor close. However, the unbalanced volume line continued to increase, as did the money stream and balance of power. So if the market does gap down and this thing opens up strongly tomorrow, we can see this accelerate. Um, short term resistance at around that 45 level. Secondary target up around 49, uh, and we'll look for a third level of target up around 52. <clears throat> GLNG, really strong move in the last three days. I can't figure this one out. Why a shipping stock would suddenly take off like that. I'm sure there's something fundamental behind it. But you can see this beautiful rising channel in the last eight months or so. It's taken this nearly to the top of the channel. But with this volume and momentum and technical setting the way they are, this could very well make a run into the mid-20s, perhaps a takeover. We'll see. Hypercom had a big reversal day coming down to 10.12 and then reversing sharply to close at 11.28 up 78 cents. A nice reversal day with increasing volume and surging technicals. This looks like a um, successful retest of support may have taken place. And at this point, a move up to at least tag the top of the channel or test it up around 12, maybe forthcoming. A move through that could get us to secondary target up around 14.5, 15. ICOG, significant price volume surge. It took out the base today. And it did so with a thrust in volume of uh, 640,000 shares up 80 cents or 41.6%. Big percentage move. Reaching as high as 320 at one point. My target remains four and a half. That's what I'll be looking for over the next few weeks, maybe a little sooner than that. IMPH continues to edge higher and look darn good today until uh, less on profit taking at the end of the day, but still blows up 30 cents or 4%. Volume started increasing. It was the heaviest volume in five sessions. And if we can get through resistance at around the seven and a half level, I'm looking for a move to 10 and then 13. IPXL, a big pop today on the positive drug news um, and closed really strong above resistance. I'm looking for higher levels on IPXL. This is an all time high, and I could, very, I could see the stock moving up to a parallel line over a long term pattern something like uh, mid-30s, but let's set a trading target right now. It's 31 and then 35. <clears throat> Jazz continues to move beautifully and uh, do so within a confining channel. Top of that channel measures around 35. That's my short-term trading target. If we can get over this 30 area, 30 and a quarter, I think it could make a move at that, or make a run at that, at that level. Verifone Systems doing great of late and ignoring the market. A big reversal day today from 46.22 to 52.49, more than six dollars up net net 356 on a day on 5.7 million. Extraordinary volume for that stock and 
Right now, my target's at 57, and then at 62. Rubicon had a nice day today. Broke out of the four or five day flag and popped to resistance. If it gets through this line, and that goes back about uh, six, seven months, we can see a move up that takes it into the uh, potentially up around the $30 range, near term target, secondary target up in the uh, 33, 34 zone. And a quick look at the VXX tonight. I wanted you to see how this one also made a Strong move on 41 million shares, got all the way up to 37.05 before closing under 35. Still up a dollar 40, but not a good close, and it closed under the resistance line. So I want to see a fall through tomorrow. Hopefully, with the futures down, we will see that. But my short-term target on this one is around 39.5 40 zone. That's it for this evening. Have a good, have a good one.